or to please stay on the line. The next available representative will answer your call shortly. Hello. Is this technical support? Yep, this is Sam. May I help you? Hi. My name is I'm Emma sorry. J. Davis. And I have a problem with my computer. Can you help me? Sure. What problem are you facing? Well, I opened my leppy thingy. <laughs> And it says on the screen, error. A error, and a weird sign, and then a two, and a six, mm -hmm. and an eight, and then a D, and then a three virus. Can you help me, right, young just man? Give me a minute. Hello, young man. Yeah, I am here. Oh, good. I, your voice was actually breaking, so I didn't actually get what you were saying. I uh, would request you to, can you please uh, repeat that again, so that I can help you out? Of course, young man. My name is Emma J. Davis, and I have a problem with my uh -huh. computer. Can you hear me now, yep. young man? And what? Yeah, I can hear you. Good. So, uh, what what exactly the problem that you are having right now on well, your computer? I opened the lappy thingy, and on the screen it says that my computer has been blocked, and it says error. And then a sign, and two, six, eight, D, three, virus. And uh, when, when did it happen, actually? What were you exactly doing at that time? Well, young man, I was trying to do some payments on my lappy thingy. But uh, now I have this weird mm -hmm. message and I'm a little bit scared mm -hmm. because it says credit card details are also being stolen. Can you help me, sir? Right. Uh, sure, sure. I will definitely go ahead and help you. Uh, and uh, I believe... Uh, this is a Windows computer. Yes, yes, it, it, it says Windows. Okay, and can you uh, just have a look at uh, the bottom left hand side of the keyboard? Yes. There should be a Windows key, um, which is uh, having four squares on it. Do you see that? Yes. Let me press it. So, uh, along with that, along with that, you have to press letter R as in Roger. Both uh, the keys at the same time. Oh, uh, at the same time. Okay, uh, hang on. Let me lay down the phone for a bit, okay? Please stay on the line. Sure. Mm-hmm. Okay, in the letter R from Romeo. Yes. Okay, sir, but are you still here, young man? What, uh, what do you see now on your screen? Can you tell me? Uh, let me see. Take a uh, run. It, it says run. And inside it says type 
the name of a program, folder, document, or internet great, resource. Great. And Windows will open it for you. And then you have a uh, can cancel. Can yes, sir. Can you please type there if there is something written in that box? No, sir, there's nothing. Okay, so what you have to type there is www. Okay, uh, hang on. N not, not too fast, young man. www. Yeah. Young man, are you still Dot. there? Yeah. Thank I, you. I'm here with you. It's www. Dot. 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 Yes. Help me. Help me. Help me. Dot net. Help me. Ha. Dot. E. P. M. E. Dot and what was the net. next N E T net. Thank you, sir, young man. N E T. Yes, I got that. What what next, young man? Okay, that's it. Uh, so it should be W W W dot help me dot net is yeah. it correct yes yes i think i typed it okay. correct right. young man all right all right now please click on okay 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 it's doing a weird thingy right now and now hmm? it says establish support Connection. I have no clue what that is, young man. Okay. Uh, there should be two fields on that page. Yes. The first one would be asking you to type your name. The complete full name, young man? Uh, what? Yeah, you have to type your full name there. Okay. Emma Davis. Okay. Wait, what should I do next, now, young man? Now, come to the... In the next field, which is blank, yes. you have to type the numbers I am going to give you. Okay. And uh, the, num the numbers are uh, 7... Nine. Seven, six, nine. Yes. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. Yes. Two, zero, zero. Two, zero. What was the next number again? I'm so sorry. It's two zero zero. Zero. Okay. Zero. So two zeros at the end, young man. Got yeah. it. So the the complete the complete number should be seven six nine three. Three, three, two, zero, zero. Yes, I've got that. Thank you very now, much. Okay, now click on continue. Continue. Let me see mm -hmm. what's going on right now. Sure. It says connected to 
go to as it says. Oh, oh, oh. It says something else. Correct, correct. What should I do right now? What do you see on your screen? Is it saying uh, run or something like that? Whatever option do you get? Just let me know. Yes, I, I did had run. And now... Click on run. Okay. And... Uh, oh, oh. Now it says, do you want to allow the following program yes, to be... Yes, you, you... Yes. Correct. You have to click on yes. Okay, young man. I hope my lappy thingy will be fixed. My grandkid Jimmy yeah, of course. It, uses of course. it a lot for school. Of course, it will be fixed. Don't you worry. Okay, young man. I'm so worried. Now, uh, what option do you get? It is still connecting at this moment. All right, just wait for it to get connect. Okay, young man. Whenever you see any change or any option, just let me know. No, it's still stuck on connecting. All right. Does it always take so long, young man? That may be a problem with... Uh the computer or the internet that is why it is taking so long oh okay oh it, it's starting to spin that is a good yeah. thing i it think was, uh, it it should have given you my name that Sam Thomas wants to connect to your computer. So you have to click on yes. Okay, yes. I will pe press on the yes button. I did that. All right. Can Great. you see me now? now? Yeah, I, I, I can see your computer now. If you just have a look here, the moving arrow. Oh, yes. Is that you? That is me. Oh. Yeah, that is me. Hello. Oh. That is me. Yes. And this is, this is what the error you have got. Yes. Your computer has been blocked. Please, okay, please do not write. Yes. So, uh, what were you exactly doing at that time? Well, my grandson had used that lappy thingy, and I wanted to read mm -hmm. the newspaper and pay some bills. But with the newspaper, I got this. So, my sir, goodness. can you this help me? Actually. Of course, I will help you. This is actually, uh, it seems to me that somebody from uh, a foreign location is yeah. trying to get an access of your network. Oh, dear. And, uh, and uh, by doing that, what they can do is they maybe like pull up your informations that are saved over the network. Oh, but, but... That is what they might try to do with your... Yes, but, but you can help me, right? I'll go ahead and... 
Yeah, I am going to help you. I have to exactly see what is going on, why this virus has come in, yeah. and what exactly is going on with your network. So I am going to run a scan over it. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. A black screen. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, oh my God. Oh, oh, my Lord. What is that? Young man? Oh? Yes? Well, what, what is that on the screen? That is me. I, I, am, I am running a scan. Mm -hmm. It is a scan. Yes. Uh, which is scanning your network and your computer. So that we will come to know what exactly is going on oh. with your computer. Why it is blocked. Who all are trying to get an access and all oh so you can see if my grandson Jimmy did his homework as well uh, right now I can't see anything I can only see what is opened on your screen oh, oh. this is the scan that has completed yeah. Now I would like you to have a look on what I have got here. Yeah. Is uh, let me make it big for you. Yes, thank you because my eyes aren't as good anymore. Oh, here dear. is the report of the scan. Uh huh. Intruders alert from foreign location. Oh dear. Elurion found in network. Oh dear. And it is also saying system and personal data is at risk. Oh dear. Young man, can you help so, me with uh, that all? Let me go. Am sure. I still saying? Uh, Elurion, do you know what Elurion? Uh, no, young man. I, I have I no will, idea about I computer will. thingies and such. Let me tell you, uh, these are the problems that maybe came in because of uh, the securities that you do not have on your computer. Oh. So that the hackers try to get your personal information from it. Yeah. Just have a look here. What this Elurion, which we have found uh -huh. on your network, it is what it is actually. Young, young man, what are hackers? Hmm. You mentioned them, but I have no clue what they are. Well, what are those? Are those the virus thingies, or...? It is the... This Elurion is actually a network hacking bomb that has especially been created by these network hackers. And uh, spreading this virus into someone's network the sole uh, purpose of doing these kinds of activities is to fetch somebody's personal details that yeah. could be anything the username banking passwords mm -hmm. social security number and all mm -hmm. paypal information their credit card data so that they can steal some money they can uh, use those information yeah. later on for their benefit at the cost of oh, the dear. owner security oh dear that, that's and, not uh, that good i don't have a lot of money I'll, but i i i need really some help and those hackers need to right, stay out uh, 
Yes, Those Mrs. Davis. The hackers people. need to be stay out. Yes. And, and yeah. you I'm can help me here. with all those uh, issues, young man. Yeah, I will. I will definitely help you. I am just uh, showing you what all uh, issues we are capturing after the scanning. Just have a look here. I have opened currently active connections on your network. Oh, it dear. is saying there are few people from foreign addresses, those who are trying to get access. Do you see there? Oh dear, I see it says foreign address. And have a look here, the state of that connection is established by them oh dear on your network so they were inside and the lab these thingy. are they were actually however uh, we have uh, blocked them temporarily as you are connected to us Good. so we have to provide a permanent permanent security over it so that they people won't be able to do these kinds of activities again in future. Okay. I and, hope uh, that I get it all Emma, right. Let me tell you. Mm -hmm. uh, let me tell you, Emma, this would cost you. Oh, because dear. there should be network specialists, those mm -hmm. who will work over it. Oh dear. And uh, we have to pay them their uh, technicians fees and the securities that they are going to put on your network in order to clean these things. Yes, it definitely needs some cleaning. And uh, exactly. young man, and, uh, you, how, you don't, how yes. much would cost your service? Um, sure, ma'am, I will let you know. Can you please tell me uh, what exactly is your source of income right now so that I can go ahead and uh, provide you better discounts accordingly? Ah, uh, I have a pension, and my husband has died a long time ago. So I've been a widow for almost seven years. Sorry to hear that, Emma. Thank you, young man. I still miss him dearly. My Bill, he was a rock to me. So Emma, it would uh, for three years, it would cost three hundred dollars, which is two hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Oh. That would provide you the securities for the next three years. Every device, laptop or computer or phone that you have in your house would be safe and secure. Yeah. Nobody no hacker would be able to look into that. And uh, what do you so, have uh, also maybe one for one year? Because, well, Jimmy's birthday was last week and my savings are hmm. a bit dried out. Uh, Three-year security would actually cost Somewhere around seven hundred ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Oh, However, no. as uh, you told me the situation, yeah. as you are on pension and social security, that is why uh, we have provided you the discounts for being a senior citizen and uh, social security. So that is why we have given you the discount for that, for three years service. 
Yes. That would cost $299.99. Yes. Um, would that be okay with you? Let, let me check in my booklet what I still have. And maybe mm-hmm. my granddaughter will maybe borrow me some money. Let me see you. Hang on, young man. Let me get my sure. booklet. I still don't sure. know how to see it on my lappy thingy, so I write everything down. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. It was two ninety nine for three years, you said, young man? Correct. Hmm. I said $299.99, which is uh, $300 hmm. for next three years. And do I have to pay it all at once? Uh, you have to pay that amount right now. Hmm. I will open. Uh, how will you be paying? Uh, what mode you will be using? Uh, through electronic check or through uh, your card. I How have a master card. Is that you okay with card. you? Yeah, that will be okay. So uh, let me just open some uh, a notepad so that you can go ahead and tell me that information that I will be needing for that. Yes. Oh. Your name is E-M-M-A-D-A-V-I-S. Yes. Correct? Correct. Uh, let me make it a bit bigger for you so that you can also read it. Properly. Yes, you young man. Oh, that is way better. Like, ma'am. I can make it uh, a bit more bigger. Oh, yes, I can see it clear now. My nose is now not touching the screen. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, your name is Emma Davis on, on your card. Is there any uh, maiden name there, middle initial? Yes, the J from Joan. Yes. Your phone number that would is be... Six, what is your phone number? Six, five, oh... Six, two, eight, eight, five, oh, four. Let me check what you have typed. No, you made a mistake, uh, young man. It is six there. at the beginning already. It is. Six, five, oh, six, two, eight, eight, five, oh, oh, no, not the four, but oh. Yes, and a four. Eight five oh four. What is four. the last, last? Yes, that's the phone number. Oh yes, let me what look is up your my email. Yes, my grandson has written that down. One moment, please. Email. Sure. Let me see login details from my bank. No, 
from Facebook. Oh, yes, I have to look into that one. One day, but now, where did I wrote it down? Oh, here it is. Email address is Emma huh? dot David. Forty-five. No, David. It was a typo. My grandson typed it wrong, but I am fine with that. It's David. So not David. Yes, David. Forty-five. At gmail dot com. You don't need my login details for the for that, right? No, no, no. I don't need. Okay. My address. Do you want the street address first? Uh, I need the address so that I can uh, make the documentations for that okay it's 970 Rarden Drive that is R how, how do you uh, R like in Romeo A hmm? like an apple R D I N uh, and then drive like in driving your car you got that young man it's in San Francisco In California. And the zip code is nine and four hmm. one oh seven. Is no, this no, correct? no, no. One oh seven. Yes, young man. The card number of my MasterCard is five, hmm? five, nine, seven, eight, seven, O, oh, eight. Five, 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 four, six, three. No, young man, after five, 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 we've got a four. Yes. So six, three, four, one. That was the number, young man. Is it? I six, will repeat three, four, it. One. I'll, yes, I will repeat it one time so you can look while. I look at my card. Hmm. It's five. Sure, sure. Five. Nine. Hmm. Seven. Hmm. Eight. Yes. Seven. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Eight. Hmm. Five. Yeah. Five. Hmm. Five. Yeah. Four. Hmm. 
six, mm. three, four, mm. one. Mm. All right. And uh, expiration date on it? It says five and a little stripey thingy. Two, oh, two, one. The three digit code at the back of your car. Oh, my, my grandson told me to be careful. Would you do a favor right. for you me? Have to well, mm -hmm. Would you please not tell my grandson, Jimmy, that I gave you the three digit number? No, I will not going to tell anybody for that. Okay. I will tell. It's make should I whisper the number? Yeah, ma'am, you can please tell me the last three digit number on the back. It is nine five seven. Yes. Is it correct? Yes, it is, young man. Is this correct? Yes, it is, young man. Okay. All right. And uh, I will now request you to please uh, open uh, your email. Do so I that have to open my email as well? Yeah, I uh, I have to send an invoice on your email for that. So I will request you to please open your email. Let me go to the Google thingy. Sure. Oh, it still says Wikipedia. Let me type. Indian Penal Code 420. Because you're a fucking scammer, you mm. dirtbag. Come on. Are you fucking serious? Idiot, loser. Come on. First of all, you still want to get some money? Couldn't you do it for free? Then even the email, you wanted to open her email in front of you. Hey, I, I suggest you stop scamming people because you will get your ass kicked and then you will have to sit in a medical donut for two weeks. You fucking ban showed. Hello, I've intercepted the call. This is Sean Taylor with the Cybercrime Division of the 24-7 live stream. Mm -hmm. I understand there's some suspicious activity going on on the network. Sir, Why we have your IP on who you are annoyed on. You sick fuck. Okay, you have the IP address. So yep. what, what the yep. fuck you can do with that IP address? We are going to send our team of. We have our team of cyber, the cyber crime division. You, you can tell me right away, and then I'll come over there. No, because you can't. You're in India. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So if we are in India, and you, so why 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 don't you come here? I'll fuck you here if you come here. No, how about you spend your own money on a plane ticket and you come to us? 